find here in this text this morning is that God is actually listening to you. Well, good morning, New Life family. Good morning. How is everybody? Praise the Lord. Well, it's so good to see you and be here this morning. I must confess that you look a lot better than the first group. <laughs> no, seriously, I think all of you are a bunch of good looking people. You know, I travel all around the world. And almost every place I go, I encounter people like this. But I discovered something really unique about Cambodia. I, uh, I discovered there are no ugly people here. There are no ugly people here. I mean, almost everywhere I go, you know, there are, there are at least three ugly people in the church. <laughs> I mean, you know, one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. Are you, are you, are you, are you okay? I need some holy water. <laughs> Um, one, uh, there are at least three ugly people, one for the Father, okay. one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. I mean, you know, uh, the Trinity has to have somebody to work on. And then I come to Cambodia. And there are no ugly people. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I am so happy to be here with my friend Pastor Sam Dibdi and uh, his amazing wife Nobby. You know, I, uh, you know, they paid me to take that photo that was up there a few moments ago. Yeah, we, we were together in America, and I, I told them, U.S. dollars only. I'll, I'll let you have it for U.S. dollars. <laughs> in all seriousness, it was just a, a real treat to meet them back in 2022. Uh, I verbally got introduced to you at that time. And how special it is to be here today with my friend. Also met his amazing kids. This, this incredible new life staff. Listen, you all have it going on. You're executive staff and all of your admin have cared for me in a marvelous Pastor way. Pastor Wayne and uh, Trish have just kind of treated me like an African King. <laughs> and 
<laughs> so I'm trying to decide whether I move to Cambodia or whether I move all of you to the U.S. I tell you what, we'll talk about it later, okay? <laughs> well, you know, there's, uh, there's this interesting thing about becoming a part of the kingdom of God. A part of what makes it interesting is that we're often made to believe that everything is going to be just right. Many times when we are introduced to the kingdom, we're introduced to great worship. Happy church like we have here at New Life. Amazing community like we have here at New Life. And so for whatever reason, we believe that everything is always going to be just okay. It's not long after that we discover that although we are in the kingdom, life still happens. We deal with the fact that before we come to Christ, we had troubles and tests and trials. But sometimes it's really hard to accept that in the kingdom, we also need help. And that's because as we come into the kingdom, we, we still have to deal with life, tests, troubles, and so forth. But that's just one side of the situation. The greater challenge becomes when you and I cry out for the help, where is it? That's difficult. You're in trouble. You need help. You cry out help for help. Where is it? And you look around thinking somebody is going to answer and uh, you find yourself alone. ហើយបញ្ហានោះគឺយើងស្វែងរកជំនួយស្វែងរកស្វែងរកប៉ុន្តែយើងមានអារម្មណ៍ថាខ្ញុំជួបបញ្ហានេះអ្វីដែលកា
I mean, you just get to a place where you go, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to respond. Help me, Lord. Wave at me if you've ever asked for help from the Lord. Come on, come on. Yes? What have you discovered when you ask for help? Well, if, you, if you've been in the kingdom as long as I have, you've discovered something. You and I have discovered that the Lord is never in a hurry. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Help, Lord, help! And you're crying out because you need help immediately. And, and here's how the Lord responds. No, I need help right away. I need help like yesterday. And it's, 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 it's nerve-wracking when, when the Lord does that. It's almost like he works on his own clock, yeah? I mean, I, I'm convinced that the Lord uses a different watch than I use. No, seriously, his watch reads eternity. Mine says now. <laughs> The truth of the matter is, is that when you and I call out for help, we typically need it right away. As it is with us here in Cambodia, so it was with the people of God, namely the children of Israel. They were desperate for help from the Lord. Much trouble, test and trial had been in their lives. They had known disaster and destruction in their lives. There were personal problems and trials. There were national problems and trials. There were gross, major, spiritual problems and trials. And the people needed help from the Lord. Besides all these things, they were uh, uh, working with false idols. Gods that could not talk. Gods and, and spirits that could not help. And in the midst of all that they were dealing with, God the Father was sensitive to where they were. 
And we find talked in the Psalms, Psalms 20, uh, uh, what was really going on with this people. And as they would call out to him for, for help, how he responded to them. And it's a, it's some amazing reading. I, I want you to look at it with me. Look at this, Psalms 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the Lord God, our Jacob, defend you. Um, May the name of the Lord God of Jacob defend you. May he send his help from the sanctuary. And strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all of your offerings. May he grant you according to his heart's desire. And fulfill all of your purposes. We will rejoice in uh, the Lord our God. And in the name of the Lord, we will set up banners. May the Lord fulfill all of your petitions. Listen, listen. Listen. Now I know the Lord saves his anointed. And he will answer him from his holy heaven. With the saving strength of his right hand. Those are amazing words to hear. They are a response to the cry for help. And because you have admitted this morning that you have been in that place before, and perhaps some of you are in that place of help right now. I want to help you understand how your father responds when you cry for help. The first thing he tells us is that he will answer us when we call. May the Lord answer you when you call out in the day of trouble. Now, now, nothing is more frustrating than when you ask for help and you get ignored. Have you ever called somebody and uh, they act like they, they just didn't hear you? Hey, come here. <laughs> and they just act like they don't even hear you. 
hai kê thưa đi bằng ơi đi nghiệm một tranh đợi hạ đang lư hai dương sai ở kê chui sao we don't like to be ignored right cái mình là na kê không mà tụm đi chui chặt ở kê bả để sai về để dương hai kê ở chui dương này especially if it's in a moment or a season where we are in trouble chia về xe nó không có đợi ca không thay nạp hết để dương bớt chỉ đợi ca chấm nuôi mình bảy hai hai dương thở ca kê chui dương and what the what the psalmist assures us of is that the lord hears us when we call But now, wait, I've been chipped up, you know, call me, had no pay, they used to like how you're wrong, wrong, shall I talk? As a matter of fact, one other prophet says, Call out to me and I will answer you. If you're going to grab your note, look at it, had no pay, they're going to ask me, slide up wrong, wrong, and shall I talk? I can't hear you. I'll show you great and mighty things to come. Dương nâng bằng hai cái áo cha rất ba để hai nền 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 để cô tu xong dương dương nâng thưa cái áo cha của mạnh hơn. And so the first principle that we find here in this text this morning is that God is actually listening to you. Chẳng cô cá nâng bật nít để dương ảnh riêng ba nâng không khó mùi nít ha nâng bê để dương xoay rộp rộng nâng bê để dương tu ổng vô rộp rộng rộng bật tiên bà ca sạp. And not only is he listening but he answers when you call. Mình ព្រះអង្គមិនមែនគ្រាន់តែផ្ទៀងប្រកាសស្ដាប់តែប៉ុណ្ណោះទេប៉ុណ្ណែងព្រះអង្គអឺឆ្លើយតបជាមួយន
don't even have the spiritual desire to fight. But in your season of trouble, he defends you. The second thing that we see here in this text is that not only does he answer, but he will send help. Well, just wave at me if you've been in trouble and you needed help. Yes. Yeah. This text says that when we cry out, he'll send help. But I'm very, I'm very, very amazed as to the kind of help that is referred to in this text. Says that he will send help from his holy place, from Zion. Listen to me, beloved. Many times when you and I are in trouble, we fail to turn to each other. We're not called to walk in the kingdom alone. I need you. You need me. The scripture says when one is weak, the other is strong. We're clearly told that two are better than one. And so many times our help literally is in the sanctuary, brothers and sisters. And if you are in our new life community, with the many families that God has given us, and you get in trouble and you call out for help and nobody responds then the problem is not the Lord it's you because we are surrounded by family and, and sometimes, you know, in those seasons of trouble, I, I can't pray, but maybe my brother can pray for me. And sometimes, you know, in those seasons of we got to learn how to trust one another. We got to learn how to be there for one another. I'll send you help from the sanctuary. Someone who's sensitive in the spirit maybe a word of knowledge or a word of wisdom about what you're going through and do you know how you respond to that you're in trouble you're going through a very difficult time someone comes up to you they ask you are you okay remember you're in trouble they ask you, are you okay? And you say yes. So how do I get help when I don't be honest so that I can get help from the sanctuary? 
It's really important to understand this principle. That we are to strengthen one another in the Lord. And then in verse 3 it says he remembers. Aren't you glad that you serve a father who doesn't forget? Okay, let me ask you a question. How many have some friends? Maybe at least one friend? How many have you ever gone to that friend and uh, shared something with them and they said, I'll always be there for you? And then the day of trouble came. You went to that friend and said, I need help. And all of a sudden, they don't remember. They don't remember that they said, I'll always be there for you. No, no matter what you're going through, I got your back. I got your back. Oh, I got your back. Yeah, but help me then. Help me. But they don't remember. But the Lord remembers. He never forgets. He remembers the sacrifice that you make. Come on, look at me. How many of you in recent days have made much sacrifice? Sacrifice to be in the house of the Lord. Sacrifice financially. Always feeling like you're giving more than you have to give. The Lord says, This is how I will answer you. The Lord says, this is how I will answer you. I won't forget the seed that you have sown. I won't forget the sacrifice that you've made. And I'll respond. I will come through for you. I will answer your commitment. I will satisfy your sacrifice. And then he says, I will grant you your heart's desire. Trouble is always a hard thing. When we're in trouble, we feel it in our heart. It weighs heavily on our spirit. For some of us, it interrupts our sleep. For most of us, it stresses us out. As a matter of fact, when we are in trouble, 
we feel like nobody understands what's going on in our heart. Chỉ biết thế nào để giúp tụi lâm ba, nhưng mà làm thế, không nên nói cái vô làm pi tụi lâm ba, bảo không nhom, không nên nói cái vô pi không nhom này. But the text says, I will answer your heart. Và ta không bắt công pi ban trai thà, dương nên chờ lời tôm, rồi ta sẽ đợi trời ca bảo con. Ơi, sầm rách, sầu tam sẽ bắt thà bảo con. When we are in help, we have a father who's sensitive. To our hearts. I'll fulfill all of your purpose. That's amazing to me. That's, that's amazing to me. Because there are times, man, I don't even know what my purpose is. No, 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 no. Seriously. Amen. Seriously, I, I, I get confused sometimes. I, I mean, really, sometimes I'm just clueless. I, I don't even know what's going on. And Pastor Sam, the, the word purpose here. In the original language, is counsel. The Lord says, "Come on, look at me." The Lord says, "When you're in trouble, I'll come to you and I'll counsel you." And I'll guide you. I'll direct you. I'll lead you. I'll fulfill your purpose. I will, I will be the Lord of the breakthrough. I will help you. I will not leave you. Alone. In the Gospel of John, I will send you a helper. And he will be in you, and he will be with you. And can I tell you this one? Look at me. He will be for you. And if you're here this morning and you're saying, Brother, I need help. I don't know. The best part of my day is here in the sanctuary this morning. But when I leave here, I've got to go back home and I need help. Or tomorrow, I've got to go back to school and I need help. Or I've got to go back to work and I. I need help. Or I've got to address relationship problems and I need help. He's here this morning. We call him helper. We call him Holy Spirit. He's the one that remembers. He's the one that remembers. And I'm looking at some of you right now. There's a smile on your face. But there's a cry for help in your heart. 
And he wants to help you. Anybody need him this morning? 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 It's me, Lord. It's me, Lord, in the sanctuary. It's me, Lord, with some troubles or some some difficulties in my life. Help me. God of the breakthrough, help me. Great defender, lift me above my troubles. Destroy the forces of the enemy that are coming against me. We cry out for help, Lord. We cry out for help, Lord. We thank you now that you hear us and, and that you answer us. Why don't you just ask him in your own way, just out loud. All over this room, just ask for him. Come on, family, ask him for him. Come on, family, get your mind on Jesus. Right there in your seat, right now. I learned Cry out for help. He's listening. And he's going to answer you. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heal bodies. Heal minds. Heal broken hearts. Heal financial situations. Heal marriages. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the anointing. Because it is the anointing that breaks the yoke. And the hundreds of us that are in this room today, we surrender. We open up for help. Thank you for your right hand. Your powerful right hand. Reaching out, delivering us from trouble. We thank you for it now. I want everybody to look up here. In just a moment, I'm going to invite you to this altar to pray over whatever your needs are. I want to tell you that when I was a little boy I was raised by my mother and very often when we would go out to the marketplace she had rules when we would go to the marketplace she had rules and one of the rules was that I had to hold her hand while we walked through the market. 
And she said, "Don't you let go of my right hand because I don't want you to get hit by a car." But you, you know how we were as little kids, right? When your, <laughs> when your parents tell you not to do something, that's what you do. And so Mama said, Walter Jr., don't you run, hold my hand. One day we go to the marketplace. I got Mama by the hand. And we're walking and everything. And uh, I had this brilliant idea to run. So I broke loose my mother's hands. Come on. <laughs> I took off running. <laughs> And kids have no sense or danger. And a car was coming. And my mother saw the car. I didn't see the car. I only saw the candy that I was running for. And all of a sudden, Pastor Sam Dede, my mother jumped in front of me like a superwoman. And she took her right hand and she pushed me back. And in that very moment she saved me from danger she spared my life Your father in heaven has a right hand. It's in the scripture that I just read to you. And you told me that you have had some trouble. Your father in heaven is not just in heaven, he's in this room right now. Anybody need his right hand? Save me, Lord. With the power of your you're here today and you don't know Jesus when you call out to the God of your ancestors and your family they don't answer they do not because they're dead. But when you call out to Jesus, the right hand, he saves you. I want to know him as my Lord and Savior. And you're in this room today and you do not. Know him. 
pastors want to meet you on this altar and lead you into a loving, a loving relationship with Jesus. I'm going to ask our pastors and our leaders to come now. And as they are coming to the altar, if you're here and you need that right hand, would you come? Would you meet them up here and let them pray for you? Maybe you're here and you need that hand for healing. Maybe you're here and you need that hand for deliverance. Maybe you are here and you need that hand because you're lonely. Come on, come now. Come. Let's meet the helper up here. And Father, for everyone in their seats, I pray for them now. That you will help them and strengthen them. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. ហើយខ្ញុំសង្គមថាព្រះបន្ទូលនៅថ្ងៃនេះពិតជាលើកទៅចិត្តនឹងផ្ដល់កម្លាំងទៅដល់លោកអ្នកបងប្អូនអស់